Hello, welcome to my little haul video. As you can see, I've decided to film in front of my Sleeping Beauty castle that I painted on the wall during lockdown. And I'm gonna try and show you some things I've bought lately. A lot of Halloween things, some things from the Hotel New York where I stayed about three weeks ago. So let's get started. I'll start with the Hotel New York things. The first thing I bought in the Hotel New York, Art of Marvel, was this t-shirt. It's a black t-shirt and it says Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel. There's nothing on the back. And it's got the same um, silver carved images that there is in the lobby of the hotel, of the superheroes. And I really like that. It's a kind of unisex size. I'm trying to find the price for you. The price is 30 euros. Let me see, who have we got? We've got Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Black Panther, and Captain America. I really like that, and it's a fun souvenir of the hotel. So that was the first thing I bought from the Art of Marvel Hotel. Um, in the room, there's a few nice things. You get these paper cups, they say hero up. There's a big one and a little one. You can use them for your coffee or your waters or whatever. They say hero up, Disneyland Paris, Hotel New York, Art of Marvel. And yeah, we just kept a few of those as souvenirs. They're just, they're just in the room for you to put your drinks in. Also, I bought this pin, a hotel pin. It's a bit of a different style to the usual hotel pins, but it says Hotel New York, uh, The Art of Marvel. It has the picture of the front of the hotel on it. So let's show you. And that one was 10 pounds. Also, of course, in the hotel, it has themed toiletries. So the first themed toiletry I'm gonna show you, this is a little box that you get. It's a vanity set. Of course it's themed, it says the hotel name on it. On the back it just says vanity set. And just to show you what you get inside it, let's have a look. You get some earbuds, a nail file, some cotton wool, and this round thing, which, I really have no clue what this is. It's a round, stretchy thing. If anyone has any clue what this is, or if it's just stuffing for the box, <laughs> let me know, because I really don't know what that is. But it was inside this box. Okay, another toiletry that you get in a hotel that you can take is the soap. And I'm going to open the soap for you. You just get this once, they don't replace the soap every day. So we just got one the whole time we were in the room, which was four days. And on the soap, it has the A for Avengers imprinted in there, nothing on the back, but nice themed soap for the hotel, themed to the Avengers. So that's the end of the things I have from the Hotel New York Art of Marble. So now I'm gonna try and show you um, just some other bits and pieces from the park. Okay, so I'm not a huge collector of pops, but from the Disney store recently, I bought this pop and it's one of the beef eaters from It's a Small World. And I just thought it was lovely because it reminds me of England and Britain and It's a Small World. So there she is there, the beef eater. She's got the spear, she's got the uniform with the medal, she's got the flowers, red, white and blue around her hat, the ruff of her shirt collar there. I just really liked it. And this is part of a series for It's a Small World where you can get Kenya, Japan, United States, and England, of course. I don't think you can get every country, but that's the countries you can get. And yeah, that was just from the Disney store online, Shop Disney, but I think you can get them 
other places probably as well. It's a Now, this is a new thing, it's a sign of the times, but Disneyland Paris have started selling their own branded face masks, which of course you have to wear a face mask in the park at the moment because of the coronavirus risk. And these are being sold for six euros. You get them by the checkouts and they're kind of a mixture of paper and cloth. So let me put it on here. And they are washable, but they say hand wash. I don't love it, but it's a new souvenir you can get. And I thought I would have it because it says Disneyland Paris on it. So if you want one of those, they're by the checkouts in most of the shops and they are six euros. This is something I wanted for a while because it's a really useful sort of thing to have. And it's a little zip coin purse, part of their American collection, branded Disneyland Paris. But it also has a place for all your cards so you can carry all your cards and then you have this little zip wallet as well so you don't need to carry something massive around with you and it's got mickey it's got disneyland paris and that was 12.99 but i think it was in the 30 percent off section so i bought that and i like it and it seems a very practical thing to buy as well so i bought some pins on this trip I bought a Big Thunder Mountain pin, which I really like. And it, of course, has the train coming around Big Thunder Mountain on it. That is yellow, which means it cost 9 99 Of course, you can get your shopping discount with your annual pass if you've got one. But yeah, that's the Big Thunder Mountain pin that I bought. And another one from the same series is Goofy. And he's like Wild West Cowboy Goofy. And he's in his long coat, this cowboy hat. That is an orange pin, which means it comes out at, I think, $7.99 or $6.99. The other pin I bought was an It's a Small World pin. There was four of these in the collection. And I could only get this one of Goofy in the gondola with the It's a Small World dolls. And that one was orange, which I think means it was 9 99 The others, even though it's not limited, they were just nowhere to be found. That's the only one I could get out of the four. One thing you can get in the parks are these little tiny tins. Now, if I put it in my hand, you can see that's really small. Now this little tin, they cost about one euro 50. This one, of course, has the castle along with the fireworks. And inside some little sweets. But the weird thing about these tins is they're really hard to open. So it says you just twist it to open and close it. Now I have a Chippendale one here. And I really tried hard to twist it and open it. But that did not work. But there you go. It's a little tin. And inside it's got some little mint flavoured sweets and that's a nice little souvenir you can buy I think they're about one euro fifty and you'll usually find those by the checkouts it's a nice little souvenir nice present for people too some people like to buy the souvenir coin every year and this is the 2021 souvenir coin from Disneyland Paris and on the other side it just has made in France, Bank of France. And they sell these in machines around the park. You can use a card these days to buy them. So that's it, 2021, I've got a couple of them here. And they are two euros. I hope you can see that without the reflection on it too much. Let's see. Yeah, those are the souvenir coins for this year. So I got a couple of those. They sell these sets of badges at Disneyland Paris. There's a lot of sets of them. There's a Toy Story one, Star Wars one. And because I really like the film Up, I got this set from the Pixar movie Up. One is the grape soda badge. And one is the house with all the balloons. And yeah, they're just badges that you would just pin onto your clothes. And they are 3 99 Again, in the shops, they tend to, be, tend to be near the checkouts. 
and you can just buy all sorts of different ones of those. I've got a few sets, but that was my newest set I bought on this trip. So I bought this t-shirt, which I've had my eye on for a while. It's a retro 70s style t-shirt that says Disneyland Paris. It's yellow, doesn't have anything on the other side. It's just a fun retro t-shirt to have. This was 22 euros 99. And yeah, I just like it. So I had my eye on that for a while and I bought it on this trip. It's kind of an unusual style and I really like it. So I wanted to show you this new coffee cup that's in the parks. I got it at Cafe Hyperion. It's got Daisy, Pluto, Goofy, Minnie, Mickey, Donald, the Fab Five. It says Disneyland Paris. It's really colourful and cartoon-like. And this is just one of those cups you use to put your hot drink in. And it's available at the quick service places. Like I say, got mine at Cafe Hyperion, but it would be most of the quick service places. It's just a fun cup you can buy and this is just something new. I really liked it. This is the last thing I have to show that isn't Halloween. The rest of this vlog is all going to be Halloween merch. This is Donald and he's like a toy soldier in the parade. And it's a Christmas plush. And this one, I don't have a price. I want to say he's something like $9.99 or something like that. But yeah, he's just a really nice soft Christmas plush. He can be part of your Christmas decorations at home. And that's something you can buy in the parks quite easily. There's a Christmas shop inside the castle. There's ribbons and bows on Main Street. Probably World of Disney and Disney Village. They all have this type of Christmas plush type toy. Some of you might know I was lucky enough to go on a press event in this trip because I'm a member of Inside Is, the social media press club. So I have this really nice souvenir lanyard which says Disneyland Paris on it. And a really nice press pass which says Halloween season press event with the Queen of Hearts on it. And we were also previewed a bit of the Christmas season merch and snacks and things. So that one says Christmas showroom, September 2021. And that's the graphic they use when they're advertising Christmas season and the graphic for Halloween season. And yeah, on the back of them, it just says Disneyland Paris. So obviously I kept those as a souvenir. It's not something you can buy, but I thought I'd just show it to you because it's really nice and I'm going to keep it. Now to the Halloween things. Let's start off with this really adorable little key ring. This is a Mickey Mouse pumpkin key ring. It's got Mickey's face on this side and it says trick or treat on the other side. And this was €6.99. It's a pretty nice quality key ring, so that's a really good souvenir to buy. This is a villain's cup that they sell for Halloween. So it has on it, so good at being bad. And it's got on it, obviously, Evil Queen, Ursula, Maleficent, Dr. Facilier, Hades. And then on the back, it's got some little villain symbols like that. But the fun thing about this cup is, which is like a cold drink cup, is that it lights up. Let's see if I can make it light up. There you go. It's not very dark in here, so you can't see very well. But you can make it flash. You can just make it light up a little bit, or you can make it really dramatically flash. That's something you can buy in the parks during Halloween season. So this is a Halloween lights necklace. I got it at Shop Disney for £10. It's really cute. It has a pumpkin Mickey light. It has a autumn leaf light. It's got a purple pumpkin light. And then so they repeat themselves, a little white pumpkin light there. So you can wear it like a necklace in the parks. And then you've got this um, little controller, which says on it, Happy Halloween. And the controller's got a button. And so you can make the lights go 
flashy, slow flashy, repeating flashing, or just permanently on, which I'll probably wear, or off. So that's the Halloween lights necklace. It's from Shop Disney UK, and that was £10. This is a mini plush from the parks. She has her candy corn witch's hat on, a lovely little bow here, candy bow. She has got pumpkins on her skirt, her dress here, and she has these adorable little shoes with candies, like toffees on the shoes. And I want to say she's about 19 euros, 99 in the stores at Disneyland Paris. But yeah, there's a Mickey one that matches with her Halloween plush. This is an adorable Halloween plush from Shop Disney UK. It's £16. It's got the lovely smiling pumpkin. And then you lift up the lid and there's Chip and Dale. So cute. The label's a bit big, isn't it? There's Chip and Dale hiding inside the pumpkin. And yeah, that was from Shop Disney UK. I didn't see it in the parks, but it's on Shop Disney UK. Just an adorable Halloween plush you can use as a decoration or just nice and soft plush to keep hold of. I really like that one. But yeah, Shop Disney UK. Nearly dropped it then. So here are some more Halloween ears. These are pumpkin ears, Mickey pumpkin ears. With the little plaid like my big ears here the little pumpkin detail these are from shop disney rather than the parks they were on shop disney uk i think 19.99 and these will be coming with me to the parks for halloween season because i love to wear different ears every day and if i can theme them to the season so much better so happy halloween the next pair of Halloween ears that I'm going to show you are these. Now, these are in the American parks, like Walt Disney World, as well as at Shop Disney UK. So they have the plaid, the checked pattern, ears. They have the beautiful, shiny, pumpkin-coloured bow. And then on the side, they say, haunt it. So those are very much the latest season Halloween ears. I love them. And I bought them on Shop Disney UK. I think they might, might have been about £22.99 or something like that, pounds, from Shop Disney UK. Really nice. And again, they'll be going to the parks with me for Halloween season. These ears were a lot cheaper. These are from Asda, Asda Supermarket in the UK. They were £4 and they're with the Halloween decorations in Asda. They've got a whole load of Disney Halloween stuff in Asda right now. And these are obviously bright orange like pumpkins, mini ears. They've got a little witch's hat on. And for £4, you can't really beat that for a bargain. And again, I'm going to be taking those to Disneyland Paris with me to wear in the parks. I really like them. And for £4, wow, you can't beat that for good value. This is a notebook which says fabulously villainous. It's a hardback notebook. It says Disneyland Paris on the back. You've obviously got Evil Queen, Ursula, Maleficent all on the back here and all on the front. And inside the pages, it's got Maleficent's thorns here and a picture of the female villains here, Evil Queen, Ursula, Maleficent. So if you like notebooks, this is a really nice one. It's for sale in the parks at the moment. I think it's about, I want to say about 15 euros, but I could be wrong. So that is available in the parks, a villain's notebook. This is a close up of the little Mickey Mouse trick or treat bucket. It's got Mickey on one side, on the other side says, give me candy. And inside it comes with a little bag of chocolate coins, which have the Disney characters all on them. And the little trick or treat bucket with the sweets in is six euros. And there's a mini one too that I'll show you. 
these trickle treat small buckets are six euros and that includes this little packet of sweets with character pictures on them so yeah i thought that was quite good value these are the candy trick-or-treat buckets that i bought for people at work so i'm just videoing them before i give them out of work today the mini one says sweet fun for everyone on the back of it and the mini one has a little candy corn bow on the ear they all come with these sweets inside i like a bag of sweets uh the mickey one says gimme candy and obviously that's mickey on the front instead of mini still with the sweets inside um yeah and they have a little handle they're not very big you can see by my hand here coming in they're not huge but I thought it'd be a fun present for me to give to people at work. Um, I got this Goofy candy in the park. It's Goofy Sour Tones and the price is €4. Euros. They're really nice. They're for presents. I got these Draggy Boos at Ocean Supermarket. They're really nice. You can't get them in England. And they are, I think, €1.49 at Ocean, so it's worth going to the supermarket. Last but not least, I want to show you this winter hat. It says, good to be bad, and it has on it some villain symbols, like um, Dr. Facilier's hat, some of Maleficent's thorns, I think, a pirate's skull and crossbones, maybe that's for Dr. Facilier too, the trident there, so Maleficent's ears here and then on the back the same thing and it just has a little tag on it saying Disneyland Paris so if that's your type of thing do you think it suits me I'm not sure it suits me anyway <laughs> that was my Halloween vlog this is Liz Reed aka Fairy Godmother over and out happy Halloween boo to you Bye.